When a project has been broken down into individual tasks, it may be useful, depending on the type and size of project, to schedule individual tasks using the exact dates and hours to ensure that everyone knows exactly what to work on and when. We'll dive into how we can create and import tasks on a project in a later video. To schedule tasks on a project, we'll use the Gantt chart tool. This can be done by simply clicking and dragging. The Gantt tool can be used to set start and end dates of individual tasks if they don't already have the date set. If a task already has dates set, we can move it in time. We can also create links between tasks or between other objects to indicate that there's a dependency or are related to each other. And for convenience, we can set the dates and link the tasks in one step by enabling the auto link tasks setting. And if we quickly want to set the dates on the whole shot at the same time, we can click and drag on the shot instead of the tasks. Now the tasks have all the same dates and duration, which may be what we want, but another option is to enable the match bid duration setting. To have any tasks we schedule have the start date we choose, but have their duration set to the bid of the task. This way, we can quickly drag out all tasks on a shot at once and then just move them slightly in time if necessary, or one task at a time if we prefer. Using these tools, we have some flexibility and help when creating our schedule, and we're free to choose how exact we need to schedule the dates. Perhaps they need to match the bid and a specified start or end date, or it's enough to give the assignee a rough idea on when their task should be worked on. If our schedule changes, we can easily move the whole shot using the yellow bar that represents the shot. When working with the Gantt tool, we can adjust the zoom level in the bottom right corner to suit our level of detail. When we set the dates, they'll snap to certain points in the time based on the zoom level. We can also use a timeline toolbar to move back and forward in time on our project to see the exact time period we're looking to schedule over. Another important tool when scheduling are the filters and the outliner, which is a great way to narrow down on the shots that are currently being scheduled to avoid having too much information visible at the same time. While we're scheduling using the Gantt tool, we can bring up the project plan to see what our original plan looked like. And we can also show the current schedule for our team so that we can see if and when they're booked on other tasks to adjust our schedule to accommodate. 